uh, for the RDC to put in and assist with the um, re, I believe it is the reconstruction of Hornet Avenue. Um, Hornet Avenue does touch on part of a redevelopment or allocation area. And so under our redevelopment laws, we are allowed to assist in that nature. But it was brought before us with a specific line item um, and the um, RDC members, when given a choice between one with this line item and one without, they decided since we have this information, we can make a specific line item for a specific project um, in this uh, in that particular area of the city. Uh, the other one for project slash professional uh, fees, that's our professional fee line item, so we can pay um, invoices that we receive from our attorneys, uh, Bob Run and Brian Statz over at Lewis and Caps, as well as Jeff Peters, our fiscal consultant, um, for an amount of $839,609. Uh, if you look on the back, uh, this is a um, uh, the standard uh, look back at what our budgets have been in the past, what our current budget is, and what we're projecting for 2023. Um, so in putting together our budget, because we don't know what our end year number will be, uh, but looking at making sure we wanted to reserve some funding, again, I've I said this in the past, I said this last year in our budget, um, we are not a board that looks to spend every amount of revenue that we have. Um, find that to be uh, probably not the wisest thing to do because we don't know what will happen the next year with property taxes, um, business that comes before the RDC, what have you. But we did at least try to project an, ed or project an ending balance of $36,000. And then using that for 2023, we, because it's the only number that we know that we have, we essentially plugged in the amount of revenue that were received from property taxes during this year, meaning the ones that were received in the payments um, that were in January from um, Jim Kaufman's report back in January of what went into our fund, as well as the other payment that came in July. And so that's how we get to the $803,609 um, to essentially try and plug in the revenue where we can. We created, we looked at these line items, but again, I will stretch much like last year. Um, if I'm on the RDC next year, and serve as its president, um, at least speaking for myself, we have no anticipation of actually spending down all this money, so we end 2023 with $0. dollars uh, Again, it's just not a thing that we do. Not to mention that, assuming that uh, property values to continue to go up as they have been, we may actually pull in more revenue in property taxes than we are anticipating. Fortunately, I am not Karnak. I cannot predict that number. And so we just go with the numbers that we know of. But that is how we arrived at that number and why you see an end balance of, of zero, <coughs> which is that we like to make sure we're plugging in uh, you know, um, something into somewhere in case there is a project. We don't know how in our various redevelopment or in allocation areas uh, where a opportunity will present itself. Um, but uh, that is what we have. What you won't see, because we've actually finally all paid them off, is that our bonds are all paid off. So those line items disappear. We do not have to um, uh, um, move some of our revenue into those specific line items to pay off those bonds. They have been paid off, and we are very, very happy about that. Uh, but So that's where we are the budget. I'll be happy to take any questions to talk about um, some specifics that you may have. Um, but I do hope that this meets with your approval um, so we can have a, uh, continue to have a, a good year uh, like we have in the past years of helping, of helping to uh, redevelop, redevelop the city and bring its uh, um, um, economy, economy and uh, what benefits our uh, residents here, um, increase that more and more. No, thank you for your hard work. Um, I do want to uh, tell the public that this is a budget that has to be approved by the council. So uh, at this time, I'll ask for a motion to approve the 2023 budget for the Redevelopment Commission. I'll make said motion. Second. 
All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. The budget passes. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Thanks, Matt. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. These are yes. Next special presentation also concerns the Redevelopment Commission. It's resolution number 9, 2022, and it concerns the establishing a TIF district at 201 Bethel. The property council at 201 Bethel used to be, a long time ago, was a lumber yard. It was home to newcomer lumber, and uh, they went out of business, and it's went into, uh, I don't want to say disrepair, I'm just kind of being gentle. In my opinion, uh, it was almost a blighted area. Needed cleanup uh, very badly. K and W Equipment, who you'll hear from here in a minute, has purchased the property and they have done a major cleanup environmentally and uh, uh, it looks so much better than it has in years. There's more work to do and they're willing to do it, uh, which includes the uh, remodel of the main building and the construction of a warehouse. And uh, they are, they are uh, a company, a reputable company that is moving uh, their operation to the city of Beach Grove. And uh, in that will be at least 22 full-time jobs, uh, and uh, th which will boost our economy. So uh, they're here tonight uh, to establish a TIF district uh, to assist them with the upgrade to this property. And I want to turn it over to uh, uh, not only the attorneys for the RDC and uh, the president, but also K&W equipment. The owners are here this evening, and uh, I think they would like to say a couple words to the council. Come on up, introduce yourself, and. Hi, my name is Bob Peterson, I'm principal owner at K&W Equipment. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm most proud of with the, with the company we started, we're, we just started our sixth year, and we have some really great employees. Um, our, uh, our, with benefits, um, our pay uh, per employee is, is in excess of $80,000. So we have 23 employees total, um, full-time employees total. So, you know, we're really proud of that. We take care of our people. Um, you know, we want to benefit the community that we're in. Um, you know, we're excited about the opportunity with Beach Grove. We're currently renting property in about four places, um, but but our main operation is is in Indianapolis at uh, in the Brookville Business Park at Brookville and Shadeland Avenue. Um, so we'll, we're moving from that area and, and want to come to Beach Grove and and uh, grow our business here. So um, appreciate uh, you guys listening and, and helping us out. Does anybody have any questions? I would encourage any of the other councils to, persons to go and walk around that area. I've, I've taken my walks through that over around that their business and right. absolutely, it's cleaned up. It looks good. It's it really it really presents well for the city. Yeah, well, we, we've got a lot more work to do. Um, we're totally remodeling yes. the building. We've had some in the 8,500 square foot office building. We've had uh, some work done to the exterior. Um, some work started on the interior. Um, a, a lot of the stuff is just infrastructure. We had a new water line put in last week, ju just that kind of stuff. And then we're going to build another building uh, behind that building to, to house equipment. So um, we're a distribution, um, not manufacturing. I mean, we don't make anything. We, we sell equipment. Uh, new equipment to the petroleum industry. So, uh, uh, you know, some of our customers that, that they, you know, it's like Bricker Oil and Circle K, Speedway, uh, f folks like that. So, um, uh, you know, we're, we're glad to be here and, and glad to be in this area. I'll continue to do my walks over there. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so you won't actually have any petroleum products or anything no i mean ever everything that we sell is new i mean it hasn't had i mean we're in the fluid handling business but i mean we don't really do anything with the with the uh 
uh, with a product or anything like that. Um, uh, we do have we do sell small tanks, but all the tanks that we sell are empty, and then we sell that to um, to people who set those tanks out and fill them. But that but doesn't happen at, at our place or anything like that. Thank you. I just want to say I'm excited that you guys are to this point. I know you guys called my office back in January. I believe you started this process about looking into moving into Beach Grove. So I'm glad 10, 10 or 11 months here, here we are, and things are looking good. And I'm glad that you guys made that call back in January because I think it's a good thing for the city, good for your company, and glad that the RDC stepped up and looking to help that process as well. So thank you. It's a good thing. It's a good Welcome. Thing. Thanks. I'd like to uh, ask our financial consultant uh, to come up and run through what this actually means financially uh, to the RDC. And Jeff, if you could come up. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council, for the opportunity to be here and help. Um, in looking at this, you know, this is your standard case of redevelopment and why it is that you have an RDC to take an area like this that is in um, disrepair and be able to incent them to come in, spend their money, and not only are they uh, redeveloping the buildings that are there, but they're gonna give you a new building as well. They're going to make a fairly substantial um, investment in personal property that the RDC will not capture, but will actually go to the tax base of the city and all the underlying taxing entities and add jobs. From a um, purely finance and revenue capture, if we look at the amount that they're going to invest in the redevelopment of the real property and the new building, it should be about $900,000. As you know, commercial property is limited to 3%. So potentially that's about $27,000 a year that will come back to the Redevelopment Commission. So if you were, were to um, incent them at $100,000 within four years, all of your money will have come back. And this will be in existence for at least 25 years, assuming that you don't achieve all of your redevelopment goals and release the assessed value of the TIF districts back to the tax base. Um, you know, you're going to have hundreds of thousands of dollars of additional revenue that you will be able to use to achieve more of those redevelopment goals. And one of the things that we always look at in redevelopment of areas like that is the rule of nine. Those nine properties that potentially surround that area, uh, their values will go up. They'll be more inclined to spend their own money to redevelop it and um, improve it. And, you know, this is a perfect example of how redevelopment should work. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks, Jeff. In order to do, uh, Council, in order, order for you to do this, you have to pass a resolution which uh, the RDC has already passed. And, Brian, did you want to comment on it? to say that I um, spoke with uh, Mr. Kaufman earlier, there are a couple typos in the resolution that I apologize for, but basically before the council tonight is to uh, approve a declaratory resolution that the RDC made last month, part of the process for establishing a TIF district uh, pursuant to Indiana law. So council, uh, resolution number nine allows you to do that. And at this time, uh, I'll ask the clerk to read the resolution into the record in its entirety. Resolution number 9, 2022. A resolution of the Common Council of the City of Beach Grove, Indiana, approving Redevelopment Commission Resolution number 6, 2022, as consistent with the plan of development for the city. Whereas pursuant to Indiana Code 36-7-14, the Act, the City of Beach Grove Redevelopment Commission adopted in December 2008, resolution number 1, 2008, creating, as amended, the current version of the Beach Grove Integrated Redeve Redevelopment Area, which resolution number 1, 2008, was found by the Common Council of the City of Beach Grove, Indiana, to be consistent with the Commission's Integrated Redevelopment Plan, 
and or their comprehensive development plan for the city of Beach Grove by Common Council Resolution Number 3, 2008. And whereas the commission adopted on September 15, 2022, de declaratory resolution number 6, 2022, attached herein as Exhibit A, amending resolution number 1, 2008, and the plan by creating the Bethel Avenue allocation area. And whereas as a development redevelopment commission of an excluded city as described in section 1, B of the act, the commission was not required to submit the declaratory resolution and supporting data to the plan commission as described section 16 of the act. And whereas section 16 part D of the act requires the common council to approve the de declaratory resolution and plan as amended as consistent with the plan of development for the city of Beach Grove. Now therefore be it resolved by the common council of the city of Beach Grove Indiana as follows. One, the Common Council finds that the declaratory resolution and plan as amended conforms to the plan of develop development for the City of Beach Grove. Two, the action of the Commission on September 15, 2022, as described in the declaratory resolution, is in all respects approved, ratified, and confirmed by the Common Council. Three, this resolution shall be effective from and after its passage and approval by the Mayor of the City of Beach Grove, Indiana. Resolution number 9, 2022. Comments from council members. The date was that one of the correct. Yeah. Okay, corrections. I, so as I read it was the way September that it should appear. Okay. Yes, okay, sir. Thanks. Thanks. No questions or comments. I'll ask for motion to approve resolution number nine, two thousand twenty two. I'll make said motion. I'll second it. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed the same sign. Please register your vote. Council, in your packet was the minutes of the previous meeting dated October 3rd, 2022. Floor is open for any questions, comments, or correction of the minutes. If not, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes as presented. I'll make said motion. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. Thank you. Under unfinished business, we have two items. The first item is the 2023 salary ordinance, general ordinance number 11, 2022, is up for approval on second reading only. And uh, council, uh, at the last meeting, the clerk read the ordinance into the record in its entirety. Tonight, uh, you can, if you so choose, read it into the record by title only on both second and third reading. So uh, it is up for approval on second reading. I'll entertain a motion to read by title only. I'll make motion. Well, I, I just have a couple questions real quick. We get there. Uh, the salary ordinance, uh, just so I'm on the same page, that is not, is not increased for elected officials. Is that correct? No increase for elected officials. Okay. So no increase for elected officials. Uh, what is the, uh, percentage of increase for the employees? Uh, the police is approximately 12%. DPW is approximately 8%. And uh, all other workers in the city is between 3 and 5%. Okay. 
is does that also an increase for the part-time employees also yes okay so an, uh, salary increase for pretty much everybody across the board except the elected officials yes okay good deal and uh president uh also uh any any appointed position non-elected appointed by the mayor like board of works member no raise okay Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, read title only. Second. We'll start on my left, Kevin. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. This time I'll ask the clerk to read the uh, ordinance into the record by title only. City of Beach Grove, Indiana, 26 page, 2023 salary ordinance. General ordinance number 11, 2022 is the salary ordinance fixing the biweekly rate for appointed and elected officials and employees for the City of Beach Grove, Indiana in the year 2023. Be ordained by the Common Council for the City of Beach Grove, Indiana. Thank you. At this time, uh, General Ordinance 11, 2022 is up for approval on second reading only. I'll ask for a motion to approve. Like said motion. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. <clears throat> General ordinance number 11, 2022 is up for approval on third and final reading this evening. I'll ask for a motion at this time to read by title only. I'll make motion to read by title only. Second. We'll begin here on my left. Title only. 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 Thank you. This time I'll ask the clerk to read uh, the 2023 salary ordinance, which is general ordinance number 11, 2022, into the record on third and final reading. City of Beach Grove, Indiana, 2023 salary ordinance. General ordinance number 11, 2022 is the salary ordinance fixing the biweekly rate for appointed and elected officials and employees for the city of Beach Grove, Indiana in the year 2023, be it ordained by the Common Council for the city of Beach Grove, Indiana. Thank you. This time, General Ordinance Number 11, 2022, is up for approval on third and final reading. This time, I'll uh, entertain a motion to approve. I'll make said motion. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. Please register your vote. Mayor, if I could make a statement yes, real sir. quick. Yes, uh, I will say that. You know, you have fought hard, and so has this council, to make Beach Grove recognized as one of the uh, best paid police departments in the city. I will say with this effective pay raise that we just did, they are going to be higher paid third year police officers than IMPD. Is that right? Yes, sir. I didn't know where they were at. At the Board of Works meeting, somebody asked that, and I knew we were close, but I didn't know where. Uh, approximately $1,400 more. Well, I'll tell you what, Bobby, you're one, uh, you're a police officer as well. Thank you. It's okay. uh, you all should be paid a lot more than what you're making, as far as I'm concerned. For what uh, all of you have to put up with. did not put the um, general ordinance 12 into your packet um, and I didn't know if you would bring it with you from the last meeting so I supplied you uh, with another copy of general ordinance number 12 which we'll hear tonight on second and third reading which is the actual budget for the city so uh, general ordinance number 12 uh, is up for approval on Second reading only, and at this time I'll ask the clerk to read the ordinance into the record, please. Ordinance number 12, be it ordained by the city 
Beach Grove City Council that for the expenses of Beach Grove Civil City for the year ending December 31st, 2023, the sums herein specified are hereby appropriated in order set apart out of the several funds herein named and for the purposes herein specified, subject to the laws governing the same. Such sums herein appropriated shall be held to include all expenditures authorized to be made during the year unless otherwise expressly stipulated and provided for by law. In addition, for the purposes of raising revenue to meet the necessary expenses of Beach Grove Civil City, the property tax levies and property tax rates as herein specified are included herein. Budget Form 4B for all funds must be completed and submitted in the manner prescribed by the Department of Local Government Finance. This ordinance shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage and approval by the Beach Grove City Council. Name of adopting entity, fiscal body, Beach Grove City Council. Type of adopting entity, fiscal body, Beach Grove City Council. Date of adoption, October 17, 2022. Funds, fund code 0061, fund name, rainy day, adopted budget zero, adopted tax levy zero dollars, adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 0101, general fund, adopted budget $11,065,879, adopted tax levy $8,025,908, adopted tax rate 1.6052%. Fund 0180, fund debt service, adopted budget $121,380, adopted tax levy $55,000. Adopted tax rate 0.0110 percent. Fund 0283, lease rental payment. Adopted budget $395,000. Adopted tax levy $425,000. Adopted tax rate 0.0850 percent. Fund 0341, fire pension. Adopted budget $40,000. Adopted tax levy $0. Adopted tax rate 0.0 percent. Fund code 0342, police pension, adopted budget $533,000, adopted tax levy $84,000, adopted tax rate 0.0168%. Fund 0706, local road and street, adopted budget $556,000, adopted tax levy $0, adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 0708, Motor Vehicle Highway, adopted budget $1,418,500, adopted tax levy $0, adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 1151, Continuing Education, adopted budget $40,000, adopted tax levy $0, adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 1310, Park Non-Reverting Capital, adopted budget $10,000, adopted tax levy zero dollars adopted tax rate zero point zero percent total adopted budget fourteen million one hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred fifty nine dollars adopted tax levy eight million five hundred eighty nine thousand nine hundred eight dollars adopted tax rate one point seven one eight zero percent home rule funds not reviewed by the dlgf fund code nine five zero zero fund name public safety low at eleven seventy Adopted budget $2,146,158. Fund 9507, fund name Home Rule Fund number 8. Adopted budget $287,845. Total adopted budget for Home Rule funds $2,433,000. Sorry, I messed it up. Um, Thank you, Clerk. <clears throat> At this time, I'll ask for a motion to approve General Ordinance Number 12, 2022, on second reading only. I'll make said motion to approve Ordinance. Uh, I apologize for a second reading. <laughs> second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. Before we introduce it on third and final reading, I would ask our financial consultant to come back up. Uh, and speak uh, with you folks and the public uh, about the uh, funding of this budget and how we came to this and how we can uh, afford to do this. Jim. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> um, as you're all aware, we maintain a, a fiscal plan for the city along with the input of the fiscal officer and the mayor. 
And what this fiscal plan does is provide a framework for both operation, operational and capital needs that the city has and to look at how specifically you're going to fund those things and to make sure that decisions that you make today have good forethought and you're not committing yourselves to things that you can't commit to or can't fund in the future. Um, the fiscal plan looks out three years into the future. So as we've sat down with the, the clerk treasurer, et cetera, and worked through the revenue side of the budget, across that three year period, revenue and expenditure match up really nicely. Um, I know you've given big raises. We've looked at the impact of those as we go forward. And again, revenues and expenditures pretty much match across that three year period. The other thing that makes me comfortable with what it is that you've done and the sustainability of it is there are what I would say are a few soft points in your budget in that over the last couple of years, you have pulled back from the amount of return on investment you pay from the sewage works fund to the general fund to the amount of about $200,000 a year. So you have full authority to go claim that extra $200,000 in future years if you would need that to bridge an operating gap. You also fund about $600,000 a year in road projects through your income tax monies that you can, as the fiscal body, freely allocate to capital or operating to the general fund or what you've done in this budget, as in past budgets, is allocate some of it to local road and street, some of it to motor vehicle highway in order to undertake these road projects. So there's another $600,000 a year that if you had an operational gap, if we go into a, a hard time where revenues start to shorten, um, you can back off of some of those capital projects or fund them in a different way and have that money for operational revenue. Uh, the other significant part about your budget for this year is assessed values in uh, Beach Grove are up over 15% for pay 23. So you're anticipated to actually have a reduction in your property tax rate next year as well. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. That's good news. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Two key points, Council. Uh, you have uh, on the verge of passing a budget that reduces taxes builds a new police station, gives well-deserved raises to all city employees, both part-time and full-time, and you're gonna pass a budget that increases public safety by over $340,000. So uh, my hat's off to you, uh, well done. And with that, I'll ask the clerk to read the <coughs> General Ordinance 212-2022 into the record on third and final reading. Jim. Ordinance 12. Be it ordained by the Beach Grove City Council that the expenses of Beach Grove Civil City for the year ending December 31st, 2023, the sums herein specified are hereby appropriated and ordered set apart out of the several funds herein named and for the purposes herein specified, subject to the laws governing the same. Such sums herein appropriated shall be held to include all expenditures authorized to be made during the year, unless otherwise expressly stipulated and provided for by law. In addition, for the ex purposes of raising revenue to meet the necessary expenses of Beach Grove Civil City, the property tax levies and property tax rates as herein specified are included herein. Budget Form 4B for all funds must be completed and submitted in the manner prescribed by the Department of Local Government Finance. This ordinance shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage and approval by the Beach Grove S City Council. Name of the adopting entity fiscal body, Beach Grove City Council. Type of adopting entity fiscal body, Beach Grove City Council. Date of adoption, October 17, 2022. Funds, fund code 0061, fund name, rainy day. Adopted budget, $0. Adopted tax levy, $0. Adopted tax rate, 0.0%. Fund 0101 General, adopted budget $11,065,879. Fund 
Adopted tax levy, $8,025,908. Adopted tax rate, 1.6052%. Fund 0180, debt service, adopted budget $121,380, adopted tax levy $55,000, adopted tax rate 0.0110%. Fund 0283, lease rental payment, adopted budget $395,000, adopted tax levy $425,000, adopted tax rate 0.0850%. Fund 0341, Fire pension, adopted budget $40,000, adopted tax levy $0, adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 0342, police pension, adopted budget $533,000, adopted tax levy $84,000, adopted tax rate 0.0168%. Fund 0706, local road and street, adopted budget $556,000, adopted tax levy $0. Adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 0708, Motor Vehicle Highway, adopted budget $1,418,500. Adopted tax levy $0. Adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 1151, Continuing Education, adopted budget $40,000. Adopted tax levy $0. Adopted tax rate 0.0%. Fund 1310, Park non-reverting capital, adopted budget $10,000, adopted tax levy $0, adopted tax rate 0.0%. Total adopted budget $14,179,759, adopted tax levy $8,589,908, adopted tax rate 1.7180%. Home ruled funds not reviewed by the DLGF fund 9500, fund name Public Safety Lowlet 1170, adopted budget $2,146,158, fund 9507, fund name Home Rule, number, Home Rule Fund number 8, adopted budget $287,845, total Home Rule funds not reviewed by the DLGF adopted budget $2,434,003. Thank you, Jim. General Ordinance Number 12, 2022 is up for approval on third and final reading this evening. This time I'll ask for a motion to approve. I'll make said motion to approve General Ordinance Number 12, 2022 on third and final reading. All, All, All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. Please uh, register Please your say. vote. Right. Okay, thank you. That concludes unfinished business. Uh, council, we did not have anybody sign up to speak uh, to you this evening, so we skipped it. So we go to uh, agenda item nine, new business. General ordinance number 14, 2022 is up for approval on first reading. And I think before we do this, I think I'll defer to our city attorney to bring us up to date on what the building corporation's done and what we should do this evening, Craig. 
Yeah, so the building corporation met tonight at 630 and approved um, the purchase agreement and the other necessary documents to move forward with bonds. And Jeff can correct me, but I think tomorrow they're going to go out in the open market and purchase the bonds and then two weeks later they'll, they'll do a closing. So essentially what this ordinance does is it, it gives the council's approval for us to move forward with that process. I know that uh, uh, I stand corrected. I only wanted to read this on first reading tonight and bring it back in November, but I can't do that, right? Yeah, we got to get, we got to do it. It's going to be one of those, he, they need the approval tonight for us to proceed tomorrow. Okay. But it's got to be uh, unanimous on all four, all three members. What I'll do is uh, we'll, we'll introduce it on first reading, and then if it passes, then I'll ask the council to weigh the rules and to hear it on all uh, two other readings this evening. Jeff, did you want to comment on the bond process or anything? I can if there's any questions, or I can just give you a quick overview. Quick, over, quick overview. Okay. Um, you know, we talked about the process in depth before. We have gone through all the steps of, as Craig said, getting ready to go to the open market. We had a call today with our underwriters uh, specifying what pricing we're going to go at uh, to the market with in the morning. So as of noon tomorrow, we should have a scale as to what that's going to cost. You're going to get the current market rate. Um, you know, those of you that watch the market, you've seen how it has undulated uh, for the last several months um, and always, of course, in an upward motion. So still historically, you will get, I think, a good rate based on if we look back to normal times of um, what I would say is pre-Great Recession. Uh, you should be fine in that regard. Again, it fits within your budget, fits within the parameters we originally talked about. And, um, you know, as the mayor said earlier, it should be looking at a tax rate decrease because of the increase in your assessed value. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any over big picture questions regarding the funding. Thank you. General ordinance uh, number 14, 2022 is up for approval on first reading only this time i'll ask the clerk to read the ordinance into the record in its entirety yes, sir. ordinance number 14 2022 an ordinance of the city of beach grove approving matters relating to the financing of the project and ratifying and approving distribution of a preliminary official statement whereas the city of beach grove indiana has determined to acquire a police station whereas the city has entered into a lease agreement dated august 1st 2022 with the beach grove building corporation Whereas the corporation is considering a resolution approving the instruments and bond of its ad valorem property tax lease rental bonds of 2022 in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $9,140,000 to finance a project, and a copy of the resolution is incorporated herein by reference. Whereas the city and the corporation have obtained all necessary approvals required by law for the instruments of the bonds and the execution of the here and after defined lease, and whereas a substantially final form of continuing disclosure undertaking certificate was presented to the council for approval now therefore be it ordained by the city of beach grove indiana that section one the corporation will use bond proceeds to acquire the project section two the city hereby approves the sale of the bonds in accordance with the terms of the resolution of the corporation to be considered for adoption october 3rd 2022 approving the sale of the bonds the city agrees to cooperate with the corporation and to assist it in fulfilling the requirements of all agencies of the federal, state, and city governments. Section 3. Upon the redemption of retirement of the bonds issued by the corporation, the city will accept from the corporation title to the project free and clear of any and all liens and encumbrances thereon. Section 4. The city thereby approves a form of continuing disclosure undertaking certificate attached hereto and incorporated herein and authorizes the mayor and the clerk treasurer to execute such certificate. Section 5, the city hereby ratifies the actions of the corporation deeming the preliminary official statement relating to the bonds as nearly final and hereby ratifies and approves the execution of the preliminary official statement by the mayor and the clerk treasurer. Section 6, the city reasonably expects that tax-exempt obligations issued by or on behalf of the township 
including the bonds, will not exceed $10 million in calendar year 2022. The bonds are hereby designated as qualified tax-exempt obligations for purposes of Section 265, Section B, Section 3 of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 as amended. Section 7, the mayor and the clerk treasurer are authorized to endorse their approval on the final official statement on behalf of the city with such changes as they shall approve, such approval to be conclusively evidenced by their signature on the final official statement. Section 8, the mayor and the clerk treasurer are hereby authorized on behalf of the city to approve and execute any and all certificates and documents necessary in connection with the insurance of the bonds of the corporation. Passed and adopted by the Count Common Council of the City of Beach Grove, Indiana, the 17th day of October 2022. Thank you, Jim. The floor is open for any questions or comments. If not, I'll ask for a motion to approve General Ordinance Number 14, 2022, on first reading only. I'll make said motion. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. Council, uh, in order to proceed on second and third reading this evening, it takes unanimous consent from all of you. So uh, I would recommend that we move to hear this on second and third reading. So I'll ask a motion to waive the rules to hear it on second and third reading. I'll make said motion. Second. And we have to have unanimous vote voting, uh, starting on my left. Aye. 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 We will proceed. General Orders number 14, 2022 is up for approval on second reading only. This time I'll ask a motion to read by title only. Make a motion to read by title only. I'll second. second. We'll begin on my left. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. This time I'll ask the clerk to read the uh, ordinance into the record by title only for second reading. Ordinance number 14, 2022. An ordinance of the city of Beach Grove approving matters relating to the financing of the project, ratifying and ratifying and approving distribution of a preliminary official statement. Thank you. General ordinance number 14, 2022 is up for approval on second reading only. At this time I'll take a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. General ordinance number 14, 2022 is up for approval on third and final reading this evening. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to read by title only. I'll motion. Second. We'll begin on my left. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. Title only. This time I'll ask the clerk to read general ordinance number 14, 2022 into the record on third reading by title only. Ordinance number 14, 2022. An ordinance of the city of Beach Grove approving matters relating to the financing of the project and ratifying and approving distribution of a preliminary official statement. Thank you. General ordinance number 14, 2022 is up for approval on third and final reading this evening. This time I'll entertain a motion to approve. Like said, motion. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same sign. Please register your vote.
That concludes new business. Uh, we have no other business to uh, address this evening, and I really appreciate your patience and the good work that uh, the council did, not only tonight, but throughout the year. We'll close with uh, council comments beginning on my right, Kara. Yeah, so uh, the Hornet Park Community Center, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar or not, but they have been having these pop-up pantries on Friday nights from 3.30 to 6. So I think it's a, a great um, thing for the community. They also are, are always looking for volunteers for that event. So that's all I've got. And it's great to be part of another uh, balanced budget here for the city. It looks like, we'll, again, left in, you know, financial... Uh, green <laughs> um you know we're finally stable everything's looking good uh kw welcome to the city and that's nice that we could you know give a little increase again to the police that like somebody already said didn't get paid enough money in my eyes either so thank you i would just like to ask the council to take under consideration uh coming in in the future uh funding for Funding using funding from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 to assist with security lighting and upgrade security upgrades, which would include lighting and cameras uh, to our parks, EMS, and other areas of need in the city. Um, I know that we're working on some upgrades in these areas and would hopefully include the EMS station for cameras and security lighting. So that might be a good thing that we could use that ARPA funds to help assist coming in, you know coming months something else good to work on all right i'd like to thank everybody who uh came today uh, glad we could uh help out and assist some of our new businesses coming in uh beach grove uh, glad you chose beach grove to move here uh that was uh one of my goals and why i ran for office is to make beach grove a destination for people to come not a destination to drive through so i'm glad you guys have chose beach grove to set up shop um I'm glad we're able to uh, take care of all of our city employees. Uh, they are the backbone of the city. We're just people that sit up here once a month, sometimes twice a month and just make decisions. But our employees, especially DPW, police and EMS are the uh, backbone of the city and they're the ones that uh, represent our city very well and I'm glad we're able to take care of them. Uh, and if I can, Mayor, um, there was a tweet that just came out by FOP president, if I can read that. Uh, he said, breaking news, Beach Grove City Council just passed a 12% raise to their police officers. Major move makes BGPD pay higher than Indy and sets them up to compete for current and potential IMPD officers. Congratulations to our fellow FOP sisters and brothers in Beach Grove. Wow. So it's our words already getting out and it's uh, very positive for the city and uh, Chief, get ready for some uh, applicants probably. <laughs> Good stuff. Yep. Thank you. So we're going to help get you a raise now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, congratulations to KNW. I hope it uh, goes well for you over there. I can remember going into Newcomer many, many years ago. It was a nice place at one time. Yeah. Did a lot for the city at one time. Um, other than that, I appreciate the work. Like I told you, Mayor and Clerk Treasurer, and everyone did on the budget. I thought it was a good budget. And that's all I got. Yeah, I also want to welcome K and W. Uh, thank you, everyone who came tonight. Um, Clerk, uh, you guys done a good job on the budget. You know, it's a lot of hard work. You know, months and months of preparation. So, thank you. Uh, I'm happy to see what Bobby said. That's that's important. Oh, uh, with that, that's all I got. All right. And Council, I just want to, again, thank you for the good work that you've done, not just tonight, but throughout this entire year. So the city is better off because of the decisions that all of you have made. So with that, a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.